game sounds muted because this engine's very loud while I talk here. Um, I did. I got on the bridge and got off the bridge about 15 times uh, consistently, and pretty quickly I thought as well. Um, but not the most recent time, but the time before that, uh, when I failed hijack, um, I thought it would be kind of fun to show why. Uh, we don't do the bike on the boat method because we tried it way back in the day before we had the methods to get across that bridge. Um, we tried it and it never worked. Uh, there was just too many issues with collision and the bike falling in the water. However, I actually got it to work and I realized what we've, we had been doing wrong all that time. Um, so, a couple things to go over here before we start, um, which is why I have the, hyd the, uh, yeah, the Hydra. Uh, if you park the boat over here to put the bike on, it is going to despawn. So as much as that dock would be very, very helpful right now, it's not going to work. Um, because the boat will despawn, and we need that boat. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll park it, we'll park the boat right over here, um, right about directly under this hydro right now, right where the sand meets the grass. Uh, and then we will take the boat back over to here. And get off right where we got on. So, right like that. We're going to start with the going over the bridge method now. Um, I actually do use the reverse method. Um, I think it, it's much safer, and it works well. And I practiced it quite a bit and got, got, got it to go pretty quick as well. You need to get a truck. To a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. Okay. So even if this boat thing doesn't pan out, um, I, I did try the boat for like the last couple hours, um, just like while I was watching Netflix or something. And um, yeah, I was very surprised at how consistent it actually was. Much like I'm sure people were surprised when they found that this was consistent. Um, but yeah, before this bridge, man, that was something we spent like a couple days, at least one whole day doing. I guess 126. That is the safer method, and if you guys don't know how that works, it's pretty simple. You just lean back, hold S and A, um, and that's like the safer. And I think most people agree it's slower because of how far you. So I had to reverse once I was on that little ledge. If you use the method that LOL Restart uses. Um, you go off, or you, yeah, you, you go off there forwards, so you actually build up quite a bit of speed. Instead of going off backwards the way I did, we have to go slow. So, I don't know. <sighs> I feel like if you're not going for a world record, it's not really a big issue. Please don't screw me up. There's like two cars on the road and they're gonna... Could have duped it, but I didn't feel like it, so. It's just like more setup to do the mission. I'm doing the mission twice, so I didn't want to add setup. Yeah. So this felt this felt like a pretty clean hijack, I felt like. Nothing too bad about it. Just the cars on the road that wouldn't normally be there, but whatever. These these uh Obviously a rough time comparison, they're not like crazy accurate or anything. Hey, this is a heads up from me editing in post. Uh, I do the pause buffer method, so seizure warning, I guess. I just want to see how close the time is, if it's viable or not. Just like, a little closer, huh? ah, that's pretty bad. Uh, I feel like it's not going to be that... It's not going to be that. Um, it's either going to be very close or very far off. That's all we need to know, really. Okay, 
right, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. See, a bit unfortunate that I had to turn around there, but should be fine. And that I triggered slow mo for about a second there. But all in all, that was a pretty decent hijack. Nothing crazy about it on either end of it being awful or being great. Four thirteen eleven. Okay. So now I'm gonna go through it nice and slowly, actually, um, and show you guys exactly how this works, um, so I can kind of describe it in detail. We're not gonna go for speed here. This is just gonna be uh, reliability or whatever. We're just kind of like detailing how it works. So the first thing we do is we make a nice left hand uh, break turn there, and then we park the boat like right here. It's best if you don't actually hit the boat against the wall because then it bounces and starts moving. And you really don't need it. You don't need it that close to the wall anyway. So that's pretty good. Um, now we're gonna run up here, um, and now we're just getting to the marker. Movement here is gonna be your discretion. Uh, I think your two options are gonna be to run the way I'm going, and then do a slight cut left, like this, and then we're gonna have to slide here. You run out of sprint. Your other option would be to um, try to make run straight and then make those jumps over the fences. So then, upon starting the mission, we need to jack a truck on the you can break this fence. It's and if you go straight the here, usually there's a bump there. So I hug the fence for a little while first. So usually there's a nice bump there that'll bump you up in the air. Um, but anyway, getting onto the boat is actually quite easy. Just like that, very easy. Uh, a lot of times I don't even fall off the bike, um, which is preferred, believe it or not, because I actually don't like the way the bike's in there right now. No. There we go. You want the bike to be like so, almost, almost, almost. You want the bike like this. You want your front wheel up here and your back wheel down in the bucket and what this does is it keeps um, it keeps the bike from falling over um, and when the bike's falling over that's when you're going to get the most problems with collision uh, between the bike and the boat uh, I was actually trying to sit in the seat of the boat but it just defaulted to the bike or something not defaulted but it selected the bike for me so if Caesar falls out he, um, he can usually get back in as long as you get ahead of them enough. There we go, like this. And he'll be stuck there. Okay, cool. So you don't want to be going too quick, but you can get a bit, quite a bit of gas once you have the bike in the right spot. Um, so you can see how the tire is like kind of indented in, but it can move. It can move a bit. If you go too fast, the tire is going to come up over the bench. So you can see it fall. All right, here's here's where it gets bad. If it's on its side like this, you need to get out, pick it up, and put it back the way I had it. Um, if you don't, here I'll show you. You get this weird collision. See this collision we're getting? And now of course the bike is at a very high risk for falling out here. But also, I believe uh, the collision is actually causing damage, if I recall, from way back in the day when we were trying to do this. It's also steering me. Very weird. Um, yeah, but see, it's very easy for the bike to fall out. What you need to do is get out and put it back up. Most of the time, once you get it up, though, it will stay that way for the rest of the mission. It'll stay in the right spot. So now let's actually do the time comparison. Oh, and then getting off, I guess, would have been the other thing. Um, you don't want to get off on the front because there is a high invisible wall here, uh, right around here somewhere, uh, and it's very hard to get the bike over. And even if you were to get the bike over, you're going to be pushing the boat the whole time while you're doing it which is very irritating, you want to get off on the back. And you can see this, this is actually a pretty big hitbox here, all over top of the motors. So. For the sake of the time comparison, I'm going to move this, uh, was this a Tropic? Yeah, Tropic. I'm going to move the Tropic out of the way. Because I'm pretty sure that was the way the other one was. 
and uh, we'll get started here. Er, yeah, I guess we'll get started. <laughs> and I forgot to start the timer, so let's try to respawn this boat. <laughs> We have the cheats enabled. Oh, we did. Okay. <laughs> nice ghost town. Okay, cool. And we're off. Uh, so you guys now understand how it's kind of possible, and like I was doing this very consistently uh, earlier. much trouble without uh, much failure rate either um, a big part of it is going to be though getting used to um, using the, the boat you don't we don't drive the boat much in the any percent run uh, as it is it's just like here and then on vertical bird for a little bit Probably chainsaw slide here, but most of you guys aren't gonna have a chainsaw at this point in the run, so that would be kind of weird. What, what did we get? Like a four, four oh eight or something? I don't remember. On the uh, the bridge route. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. Ideally, we don't fall off the bike here. Um, as long as the bike makes it in, we're fine. Okay. and slow at first once you get going straight you can kind of speed up a bit but generally speaking nice and slow speed is at your discretion and so again we have to go off the back side of the boat not the front so we're gonna steer accordingly for that we still don't want the boat the bike to fall over because it's already pointing the right direction, and there's not a lot of room to work with on the boat, so... If at all possible, yeah, just gently. Nice. Ah, didn't want to fall, but that's fine. Okay, cool. Now we just gotta wait for Caesar. Climb. Climb. Okay. So yeah, uh, I, I was doing it, I've been doing it pretty consistently at about that level um, of speed, I feel like. Like that didn't seem incredibly fast compared to the other uh, attempts I've had. So this is the big drawback, is the fact that you have to get up on this side, um, or you know, on this side of the truck. So it's going to pass um, where you want to go down, it's going to pass the, the Doherty garage, see, before you even get a chance at it. What do you think? My Mexican jumping bean closer! So I know that on its own is going to be enough to like make you guys not want to do it. Uh, just the fact that you have to turn around, but man, 
We're within like 30 seconds of the bridge route. And I didn't do anything that hard there. And like I, I've been doing it consistently like that for like a couple hours. I just didn't bother recording or timing it because I wanted to see if I was consistent with it. Man, we're within 30 seconds easily. Um, hard to say. Is it stupid? If we refine this even more, maybe we can find a better spot to put the boat, but like I said, if we put it on that other side, um, it will despawn, so. Hmm. Hmm. See, we're putting it here right now. If you put it here, where there's a nice dock, very easy, um, the boat despawns. I can't really think of anywhere else to put it. Like, up here? Like, maybe there's a spot up here we can go. Uh, I hope this was uh, interesting. Maybe it can spark some some uh, discussion uh, or some theory crafting in the community. Um, obviously, if you're using the other method of going across the bridge, where you go forward, and you're very good at that, um, that's generally just gonna be faster anyway. So, not much real reason for you to even consider this. But uh, you know, it's here for us to to explore. Possibly an alternative way to get across the bridge, or you know. Like Doc Brown, man. Where we're going, we don't need bridges.